Hello beautiful people, it's Claire here from Imagination Finds Love. I have a reading for you today. I am going to be using the Enchanted Love Tarot and the Akashic Tarot deck. Um, and I'm going to be using them together to describe the energy that we are experiencing right now. Now this is a timeless reading, so when you... Um, when you watch this is perfect for you. It doesn't matter whether it's now or two years down the track. It doesn't. Two months down the track as well. So it doesn't matter when you see this. This will be um, perfect for you when you do see it. So enjoy the reading. So I'm just going to pull a card and see what we have here. We have opposition. Ooh, I wonder what that's about. So it's going to allow the messages to come out and then we will talk about what they mean. The garden. When I was shuffling the deck before I um I actually put like this this card flew out of the deck. So I will show you what they are in a moment. See kind of what's going on. You have the Buddha prepares. Okay, so some pretty um, interesting energy going on. So <clears throat> I wonder if this resonates in any kind of way. Um, butterflies in opposition. So what I'm first kind of getting from this image is that there is a lot of unique people in your soul family. Um, and they're showing different qualities um, that may feel a little bit... Um, there's a word for it. I feel a little bit confronting to be around them because they're like an opposition for you. Um, <clears throat> the guidance that I'm getting from here is like, here's a garden. And I kind of feel like it's, it's saying that you can choose... Um, to be in the presence of these people in a place of peace that's you have that divine choice to be in peace um and observe it looks like yeah look at that so i don't think you can see it in the image let's see if this can clear itself up no you can't so that's okay um <clears throat> but there's like a little tiny butterfly right here and from what I can see, it kind of feels like just being present in the moment um, will really help ease any um, confrontation or disagreements or, you know, differences in um, each other, in, in, each, in each soul, um, whoever you're communicating with. And I've also got the Buddha prepares. So this kind of feels like, again, being more present with yourself um holding space for yourself too because i kind of get this like this energy is like expanding in the heart and holding space for yourself and others around you so that's what i first kind of have picked up on we're just going to go a bit deeper and see what else is coming up The Builder. Ooh. Okay. The Adventurer. Mm, these might be um, polar op opposites, right? Um, yeah. What have we got here? Independence. <laughs> okay. So I'm kind of getting like a divine masculine and a divine feminine feminine energy here. Um, this one kind of feels like um, it feels like it's building a foundation. So yeah, holding space while that foundation um, builds itself. As you can see, this person is quite raw and um, 
you know, the, they've only got this tiny little shield around them. And so they're allowing themselves to be a little bit more vulnerable. <clears throat> and the adventurer, the adventurer is like a high priestess energy. That's what I'm kind of gathering. There's like lots of flowers and this pretty woman with this beautiful dress. And what I kind of get this is Princess of Roses is the name of the card. And it kind of feels like there is a giving and a receiving energy. If you kind of look at that, which like they're both kind of looking at each other in some way or another. Yeah, that's kind of what I first picked up on. And they're both in nature as well. So like there's a lot of, you know, there are aspects of nature. So this could be a natural, um, natural connection just like growing, right? And independence. So this is like really guiding people to be um, independent for themselves. Um, and I'm kind of getting like with the gems and stuff that it is important to embrace this independence and know that your individuality is safe to be expressed as well. So, I'm going to pull three more cards. Prince of Shells, the Charmer. So there is, um, I'm getting like, there's, because I've pulled this and I'm about to put it on top of the, the um, Divine Feminine Energy, it kind of feels like there is a bit of charming energy, like, um, you know, there is an attraction <clears throat> that's coming, coming out to be seen, whether that's in yourself, where, um, you're building confidence within yourself, I feel like, um, yeah, it's kind of like this building energy for some reason, you may go along with the next card, judgment right this is about discernment it's about perspectives um like i said soul family um being able to understand what your journey consists of what you take away from whatever um conversations that you're having with specific people um, yeah, I would, I would use discernment when it comes to understanding yourself and knowing that it's okay and it's safe to disagree, to have your own perspective is kind of what I'm getting here. It, it's totally 100% safe to do that. So I'm going to pull... One more card. This is an interesting energy. I must say, it's a bit different. In Crescent Moon. So I'm feeling like there is a shift and it's going to, um, it's building to, um, it's building to something. It's like, I kind of feel like this is, this could be like something that is um, building towards the crescent moon. As I think we may be in that time now. I'm not, I'm not entirely sure. <laughs> um, or it's saying that, you know, this is the beginning of something new. Um, and to give it time. But from what I'm looking at that, that kind of looks like the end of the moon. So mm -hmm. I'm not entirely sure on that one but it kind of looks like this man is building something and he's almost at completion Ooh, you can kind of see that in the yeah okay all right so i hope that resonates for you and leave a comment down below and i would love to hear your feedback thank you bye